Here's where you fill the power steering up. I'm gonna take off the cap. And what I'm gonna do first is, instead of removing one of the hoses, like everybody does, and use this siphon pump here and empty the reservoir first. After you put your finger on the line and get it started, you're gonna drop the line down to the bottom of the truck on the ground and stick it, stick the hose in the container down there and start pumping. Doesn't come out, put your finger on the end again and start over. This is very important, so listen carefully. Check the description for a link. It would take you to eBay so that you can purchase the correct fluid for this truck. You can't put just any power steering fluid in this truck or you will have problems. And it's an affiliate link, so if you make a purchase, it will help support me making more videos like this. It's slowly going into the container on its own. It's cleaner than I thought. When you open the reservoir, it looks like it's black. It's like it's black, but it's not. It's pretty clear. So I'm glad for that, but it's been in there since I bought the truck about eight years ago, so it definitely should be changed. I removed the three 8mm bolts that hold the reservoir on and then I removed one of the hoses. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the siphon tube in this hose and suck the rest of the fluid out of there. Let's, now I'm going to go see if I've got a good enough seal so I can suck some more fluid out. A little leakage, but it works. I jacked up the front end of the truck, but my jack doesn't lift it up enough to get the wheels off the ground, but it made it a lot easier for me to turn the steering wheel. Depending on if you jack it up, you're going to have to turn it pretty hard. You want to turn the steering wheel as far as it will go to where the wheels go to the right. Then when you, then when you get there and it stops, you're going to turn it back all the way and go the opposite direction where the wheels turn like you're turning left until it stops. Then bring it back, repeat that process, and that will cause the fluid to pump up into the reservoir. You have to put the key in and turn it to the on position, otherwise the steering wheel will lock on you. It appears that the smaller line is the return line. And this container has filled up again with fluid. So I'm gonna go ahead and suck it out. This process is slow, there's other ways to do it.
Gracias. I went and turned the steering wheel to get some more fluid to pump up into the reservoir and now I'm gonna suck it out again. Reinstall the reservoir and connect the hoses and then I'm gonna fill it up, turn the engine on and make sure that it's full. I was able to get out about two quarts of the old fluid total. According to what I found online, the capacity in this truck is three quarts. Since the fluid is still very clean and clear red, then I'm not going to worry about trying to get all of it out to replace it all because the fluid that was in there was actually still okay. If your fluid is black and nasty, you're gonna wanna get it all out. And you can do that by checking out some other videos and learning other methods that they use to get the fluid out of there. This is what I happen to do in this situation because the fluid that was in there was still pretty clean looking 